What's going on guys, it's Josh here, and I'm doing a commentary with... Axe Connor. Right, so, this is Lewis on Whiteout, he actually gets a sniper cam. He's using the uh, thermal USR with bullet penetration, maybe chrome lined, I'm not sure. What, what do you think about this gun, Colonel? Uh, well, USR is well, probably one of the best snipers in the game, because it takes a very short time for you to cock the gun again and have another shot, whereas the L115 kind of takes another split second or so. Um, and also the fact that most guns in this game are just broke and the NSR, well, it is kind of broke as well, but not as broke. I think the, the most notably broke gun has got to be the Honey Badger. Yeah, it's such an overpowered gun, in my opinion. Yeah, it is. Like, especially because it has the integrated silencer, which means like you're more or less carrying three attachments at all time on the gun. Yeah. And if you have the actual attachment perk, that's four attachments on one gun. Like that's pretty much unheard of. True. I mean, it's. Just, I think it's just a good gun overall. But I think I like the USR as a sniper. It's my favorite sniper to use. Just because the ADS is so quick and it, I just like the zoom in. Uh, it's basically, it's more or less what every Crescover uses now. Oops. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the L115 is great. I like it, but it, I, for me, it just has a, it has a funny ADS. Like, it's, it's not as slow as you might think, but it's just weird. Uh, when you try to quick scope someone up close with the album on five, most of the time it doesn't work, right? Yeah. So Lewis has started off 12 and 0 here. He's still on the sort of back right side of the map. He's um, patrolling this area, just making sure he gets all the kills around there. These kids obviously aren't the best. He's, as I said, he started off 12 and 0, 13 now, and they're just running in front of him. Really, he's he's actually got dead eye. For his specialist bonus perk, this is like unheard of. Have you ever used it on a sniper? Um, I can't say I have, to be honest. But on Dead Eye, that's pretty much my last specialist I would have on automatic guns. Really, even semi-automatic guns like marksman rifles, I would have Dead Eye on them just because it's such a helpful perk. Yeah, but I've never used it on a sniper. I'd use it on every other class, I think, just not a sniper. Uh, you don't really need it on a sniper because a sniper, well, you expect a sniper to be one shot, one kill every single time, but not always, especially not in close. Yeah, and actually saying that, I don't think he's even got a hit marker since so the beginning of the game before he got dead eye. So it might even be helping, I'm not sure. Well, you never know really. If he had it off, he might have been getting an extra hit marker or two, but really, I don't see the point. Have a dead eye on a sniper? No, I don't see. I don't think it's worth it, really. Ah, uh, you could have a different perk like in cog or something. Yeah. So Lewis actually gets a really lucky kill right there. He gets a knife on a person that's got a couple hit marks on him right in front of him. I think his panic knife just came out a bit there. Well, yeah, everyone has a bit of a panic knife in them, <laughs> especially when you're on a high street like that. Yeah, exactly. I think, personally, I think your reactions just go, like, incredibly fast. Like, you're just so aware of everything around you. Especially when you're on a cam streak like that, like, you're, you just kind of go quiet a bit and you just focus on getting the kills and not talking as much when you're in a party. Because most of the time, we are in a six-man party all the time with everyone having mics. Yeah, I mean, you just go sort of try-hard mode. <laughs> He's... 20 and 0 at the moment. He's back on this sort of ledge at the cabin area on the roof. It has a really good spot because you can see all the way over to the sea flag, I believe. And you can just pick them off. That's what he's doing here. They're all spawning right in front of him. He's uh, uh, a pretty good spawn trap in a way because, well, I don't really play with it enough to know the spawns, but it all takes is for you to see people spawn in there for a split second and then you go and talk them. Sit for an extra second or two and just see if the spawn in there again. Yeah, exactly. He's just sort of looking from either side, sort of beat on area because they've got B at the moment and they've got C. And he's just picking them off. He's 24 at the moment, so he's looking for that last kill. 
I think he might be getting a bit nervous at this point. I usually do. Ah, uh, well, most of your time I'd say everyone does, unless you just drop cams for fun. Yeah, exactly. I think he's uh, just choking shots here. <laughs> he got ground jammed and couldn't see the guy, and he just choked a shot and then choked another one. He, he could have had his chem twice by now. Oh well, he's gonna get it anyway, so that's the main thing. Yep, and he just got it there, and that's the chem being called in. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been me and Conal. We'll see you next time. Better.